For thousands of years, the ice at the North and South Poles has acted as Earth's natural fortress. It stabilizes the global temperature, reflects solar radiation, and supports unique ecosystems. But what happens if all that ice melts? What will happen to the world as sea levels rise drastically? Cities will drown, extreme weather will become the new normal, and billions of people could lose their homes. This isn't science fiction. It's a real scenario that's already unfolding. More than 10% of Earth's land surface is covered by ice. That ice isn't just important because of its size. It plays a vital role in maintaining planetary balance. The North and South Poles store over 70% of the world's freshwater in frozen form. But due to increasingly uncontrollable climate change, glaciers and ice sheets are melting faster than ever before. Segment 1. Why is the ice melting? Global warming is the main culprit. Earth's average temperature has risen by over 1 Celsius since pre-industrial times, and the polar regions are warming 2 to 3 times faster. This is caused by a phenomenon known as polar amplification, where the loss of reflective ice exposes darker ocean water, which absorbs more sunlight and accelerates warming. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide intensify the greenhouse effect. Human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes, continue to release these gases into the atmosphere. These emissions are driving polar ice melt at alarming rates. Segment 2. What happens if all the ice melts? If all the ice in Greenland, Antarctica, and the world's major glaciers melts, global sea levels could rise by more than 65 meters. That would submerge most of the world's major coastal cities. Tokyo, New York, Jakarta, Mumbai, London, and many capital cities would disappear from the map. It wouldn't just be cities. Fertile farmland, industrial zones, major ports, and vital infrastructure would be lost. Hundreds of millions of people living in coastal areas would lose their homes, jobs, and access to critical resources. Segment 3. Where will people go? People would be forced to migrate en masse to higher ground. Mountains and upland regions would become new refuges, but not all countries have favorable geography. Small island nations like the Maldives, Tuvalu, or Kiribati may disappear completely, losing their national identity. This mass migration would spark land conflicts, economic crises, and social tensions. Countries with higher elevation could become overwhelmed with climate refugees. Without coordinated global planning, this could lead to serious international instability. Segment 4. Collapse of Natural Systems Ice sheets are more than just frozen water. They regulate global temperatures through high albedo, reflectivity, trap carbon in the form of frozen methane in the tundra, and help maintain stable ocean currents. As the ice melts, these systems break down. One direct consequence is disruption to major ocean currents like the Gulf Stream. If it slows or stops, Europe could face extreme cold, while tropical regions may suffer deadly heat waves. The global climate system could spiral out of control. Segment 5. What can we do? The complete melting of all polar ice hasn't happened yet, but the trend points in that direction. This is not science fiction. In recent decades, ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica have consistently lost mass. The world must act quickly. Technical solutions exist. Transitioning to renewable energy, halting deforestation, improving transportation systems, and reforming industries. But all of it requires unprecedented global cooperation and collective awareness. If we keep delaying action, the question is no longer, can we stop it? But how much damage can we still prevent? The polar ice is melting, and when the last of it is gone, the world we know will sink with it. We still have a choice, but our time is running out. One day, history may look back on this moment as the final chance we had to act. The melting of the poles isn't just about ice, it's about survival, identity, and justice for future generations. Every ton of carbon we avoid, every forest we protect, and every degree we prevent from rising still matters. The science is clear. The warnings are loud, and the consequences are no longer far away. We stand at the edge of irreversible change, but also at the edge of an opportunity to reshape our future. 
The ice is melting, but hope doesn't have to. The melting of the polar ice is not a distant threat. It's happening right now, and it affects all of us. Cities could disappear, ecosystems could collapse, and humanity could face one of its greatest survival challenges. But we still have a choice. To change, to act, and to protect what we still have. Every action matters, and every second counts. Don't let our future melt away. If you enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe.